Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm outside making a video today because I want to train my brain. So I'm going to title this video, Train Your Brain. We learn so much about everything else outside of us as human beings. From the day you're born, you go into school and you start learning about math, about addition, about... But we'll never really learn about ourselves and consciousness and how we think and how our biological engineering suit works, like our body, how your mind, your soul, and your consciousness all come together, and your body, all, how it all comes together, what your brain is, and how you have, like you are, you are a product of the thoughts you've been thinking for so long, because that's how your brain is just wired to think. And because the truth about it is, if they do teach us this in school, then we'll all be free, we'll all be creative, and the world will be a different place. It will be a different place. Because if everybody knew how much, how much in control they actually are, then who knows what this world will be. But basically, train your brain. You need to learn how to train your brain. The reason why I'm out here in this field, outside, creating a video is because I want to train my brain to understand that it is not about the location, it's not about me being in my room, it's not about being, me being in a lighted area, me being in a perfect setting, it's about what comes out of my mouth, what comes out of my soul, it's about what I'm saying, you know, it's not about the location, it's not about where I am, it's not about how good it looks, how pretty it looks, is all about what I'm saying, the message I'm trying to get across. So I want to train my brain to be able to create content without stopping myself, without giving an excuse like, oh, this place is not good enough, you're outside, or, oh, you know, people will hear you creating content in your house. Like, you know, you can be at home and somebody else is at home. Then all of a sudden, you don't really want to create content because your message is not for them. And you don't want them to interfere with your message, you know? Things like that. So I'm training my brain to be able to focus more on what comes out of my mouth and the substance rather than the looks of things, you know? It's all about the substance. I want you guys to get substance from me. <laughs> so I'm out here creating this video, talking, because I want my YouTube channel to be about mindfulness and because I'm, ve I'm somebody that is very interested in philosophy and life and consciousness and manifestation and how all this works like you know how who we are as human beings and our superpowers how our thoughts actually create our reality and how our beliefs shape our outcomes you know those are things i'm passionate about honestly because if you look at my algorithm that's all that's there that's all i watch you know how to master my mind how to master my reality because i know my mind creates my reality so it goes back to my point of this whole video. Train your brain. You've been thinking a certain way for so long. You've been thinking a certain way for so, 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 so long. Like so long. Like you've been thinking about fearful things for so long. So how can you change? Like this is this is one of the examples that I give. Like the world, the world has changed so fast. But this is one of the examples that I like to give. Like, whenever I'm in school and I'm in school and I'm just like learning something, let's say like we're learning math, and you ask somebody, oh, oh do, you, do you understand the assignment? People already say, no, I hate math. Math is hard. They have already concluded in their brain that this is hard. So someone like me, I can't do it. I, I find it difficult to do math. But when you really think about it, that person has cut themselves short of even the opportunity to try because they are programmed that way and they don't know how to train their brain to stop thinking the way they are thinking, you know? They don't know how to train their brain to stop thinking the way they are thinking because they've been thinking like that for so long. But someone like me, the way I think about it is it's not like the subject is not difficult for me as well. Or anyone else in the class but those that's not what or that's not the perspective we're thinking about the problem from if i'm dealing with a dis difficult subject in school i've graduated university by the way but if i'm dealing with a difficult subject in school 
I don't think about the subject. I think about how can I learn this? How can I learn about this and make it as easy as possible for me to understand? Then, because of how it goes back to what I said about the world has developed so fast, I just go on YouTube and I just search how to do this programming language, how to write in code in Python, how to write code in, because I study computer science, that's why I'm using those subjects as examples. Because those things were difficult to people, but it was also brand new to me, and based on what people have said, I've, it's always been difficult. Oh, oh, programming is difficult. That's what you hear people say, right? But I didn't approach it with that. I just went on YouTube, how to write code in Python. And on YouTube, somebody, somebody is so talented enough to be a good teacher that they will teach it to you like ABC. They will break it down to you like ABC. Then I'll learn it. Then I'll apply it in my assignments. Then I'll start getting... I was getting A's in university. And it was all because I was just willing to learn or, or go on YouTube and search. And not think that, oh, this is difficult. It doesn't mean you didn't take a lot of time to think and research. and all. Yes, it is difficult. But I didn't focus on my fears of the, of the problem. I focused on the solution of the problem. So you need to train your brain... And like I said, this video, I'm making this video outside because my brain told me like, oh, somebody is in the house and I don't want to make a video and have somebody hear the substance that I'm trying to feed my audience, you know, because it's not for them. The substance I'm trying to feed in this video is for whoever sees the video and clicks it and watches up to this point, right? That's who, the, that's who will receive the substance that I'm trying to spit in this video about your thoughts and your mind and training your brain. So I wasn't comfortable making that video in my house. So I decided to train my brain to be able to make videos anywhere. Under any circumstance. Even that circumstance, I'll probably train my brain to overcome that too. And be able to make the video no matter who is there and who's watching and who's talking. And just share my substance to people. Right? But you know, it's also stages. You need to learn how to train your brain in stages too. But one thing you should always do is attempt. Like, I'm still doing it because I, I have a list of topics that I want to talk about. And I said, today I must make content because the list is getting long. That's how much substance I have to offer, you, you know? So, I said, I must make this video. And my brain gave me an excuse. Oh, somebody, there are too many people at home right now. And I don't want to make the video in my house. And I said, nah, I'm going to go outside. I've seen people, people that I look up to in YouTube. Like spiritual soul, for instance, he goes to mountains and he does videos outside. Um, Bashar, Bashar does videos anywhere, like in front of hundreds of people. I'm like, it doesn't matter where you shoot it. It's about the substance that comes out from your mouth, right? So I'm training my brain to understand that fact that it's about the substance. Pick up the camera more and do what you love and talk about what you love, which is the brain, consciousness, life, manifestation, teaching people that they are in control. But yeah, so I hope this video helps somebody. And years later, we'll watch this video and be like, wow, see how far we come. Peace.